Hi, I'm Judy Bloom, and this is Blender. Although there were a couple of tricky moments in that book, too. A great argument about whether or not a guy could put aftershave on his balls. And he said, absolutely no. It would burn to death. And I said, but I know somebody who did it. <laughs> so we had a good argument, and I won. I feel very lucky that I began to write in the 70s because I don't know that any of my books would be published today, frankly. Um, so I didn't really think a lot about it. I did have a phone call from a woman once who called me a communist. For, for she asked me if I had written, Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret. And I said, Yes. And I was kind of flattered that she knew. And then she called me a communist and hung up. And I always thought, was communism religion or menstruation? Uh, she obviously equated it with one of the two. It's like a wonderful world of pretend. I mean, you can be anybody you want to be when you're writing. I can be large-breasted and very exciting uh, when I'm writing. So I think, you know, some things just never change. And what's really important, what's really deep inside, it, it continues from generation to generation. The, the way that we live may change, but... Um, those feelings don't change, and a first experience is still a first experience. I felt, I think, more emotionally attached to that 12-year-old that I was than the 20-something that I was when I started to write, and I was, I was married really young and had two kids, and um, I was kind of going crazy until I started to write. Oh, uh, my brother would tell you that every book I write saves me five years on a shrink's couch. <laughs> I don't know that that's true, um, but writing can certainly be really cathartic. They are sexual beings right away from the time that they're 12, and, and it goes from experimental sexual play between the two of them and pretending that one is the boy and, and one is the girl, uh, all of those good games that many of us grew up with. I think I only had to ask, I asked the pediatrician one question. I can remember saying to him, how young can he be and still have a wet dream? And the pediatrician said, make him Italian, he can be young. <laughs> I enjoy sexually explicit films that I watch in the privacy of my own home. Um, and I don't want them to be taken off the market. I think, you know, again, you, when you talk about porn, you have to be really careful because nobody's ever been able to define it. Each person has a different definition of porn, and that's where we get into trouble when the government wants to say, what is porn? If a girl succumbed, if a girl did this thing, this terrible thing, um, it was never because she was turned on or because she was in love. Um, it, was, it was always because she was acting out because things weren't good at home and um, she would be punished. There was always a terrible punishment if a girl gave in and had sex, uh, a grisly abortion, uh, a train trip to another town. And, and we're talking in the, in the mid-70s here. Yeah, it can be embarrassing at first and you just have to prepare yourself as a parent or as an adult um, to be able to handle it and once you get over the first gulp you know then it gets easier and once you can talk to them about sex you can really start to talk to them about almost anything I found Anne Rand's The Fountainhead when I was 12 and um, and a friend and I discovered that a man bites a woman's breast, which we had never heard of, and we thought that was interesting, but it also led me to read all of Anne Rand, um, maybe too young, but I, I really liked her stories and her philosophy. I went into the bathroom and opened the bottom cabinet. There was a whole box of cotton balls, sterile until open, the package said. I reached in and grabbed a few. My heart was pounding which seemed stupid, because what was I so afraid of anyway? I mean, if my mother saw me grab some cotton balls, she wouldn't say anything. I used them all the time, 
to put calamine on my summer mosquito bites, to clean off my cuts and bruises, to put on my face lotion at night. But my heart kept pounding anyway, because I knew what I was going to do with the cotton balls. I tiptoed back to my room and closed the door. I stepped into my closet and stood in one corner. I shoved three cotton balls into each side of my bra. Well, so what if it was cheating? Probably other girls did it too. And I'd look a lot better, wouldn't I? So why not? I came out of the closet and got back up on my chair. This time when I turned sideways, I looked like I'd grown. I liked it. That night I dreamed about Leisha. My dream went on and on. It started out at the football game where Leisha put her arm around me. Only in my dream she didn't stop there. And Corky was in it too. She was sitting on the football field and Leisha kept saying, You see, Corky? Here's what to do. To do. To do. I woke up suddenly. It was morning. I felt wet and my pajamas were sticky. Oh God, there really is something wrong with me. Really wrong. Dr. Holland doesn't know what he's talking about. I am so sick. This proves it. Wait a minute. Wait just a minute. Maybe I had a wet dream. Yeah, I'll bet that's it. How about that? I thought they'd be different though. I thought a lot more stuff would come out. And anyway, I wasn't sure I'd ever have one. At least not yet. I was never trying to educate anybody about sex. I was just trying to tell it the way it was really for me. Um, and, and to be honest about it. I mean, you know, to let kids read about it. If I could have read when I was 12 years old, if I could have read Deanie and and I would have found out that I wasn't the only one exploring my own body. And I never even heard the word masturbation. But fortunately, I had a lot of friends, and we all talked about um, that good feeling in our special places. We didn't, we didn't know any other words to describe it. It would have been very satisfying to have found a character in a book uh, doing some of these things. And I, I probably wouldn't have had to make so many bargains with God along the way as I did.